Hey, I'm Scott Hanselman, and it's Azure Friday. We're talking with Pranav Rastogi. How are you, sir? Good, sir. How are you? Very, very happy to have you back. We talked about web jobs Correct. last time you were here, and now we're going to talk about scaling web jobs. So you've already deployed the web job. Yes. Okay, but we want to scale it. By scale, what do you mean? By scale, what I mean is, like, say this web job is uh, listening on queues and is processing messages. And if suddenly my you know, site gets a lot of traffic, then a lot of incoming messages, I want to process these messages faster. Okay, so, so that scale out? Or it's going to scale out. Okay. So I'm going to have more instances of the web job running so that it can process all of the messages like, in, in a less amount of time. Okay, cool. So I'm going to show you like, how you can take this code and sort of scale a website and what happens when you scale a website as well. Okay. <coughs> So this is a simple web job. It's reading from this queue called scale queue, and it's just processing messaging over here. And I've just put this thread dot sleep to sort of do my CPU intensive work. I see. Over so you're, here. you're basically halting it to imply that a lot of important work is happening. Yes. Okay, exactly. Cool. <laughs> and I've already deploy, I've already deployed this web job, so I'm going to start so slow it. Slow down. We've got which is read from queue. This is read from queue. Is our web job. Is our web job, exactly. All right, so it reads from a queue right now, right. waits for a while, and then goes out to the console and says, I'm done. I'm done. OK. So I'm going to start this web job, and I'm going to write messages on the queue. So I have this uh, a little helper exe, which is basically going to write five messages on this queue. I see. So this is your producer. This is my producer, okay. correct. So I'm going to start this uh, <coughs> producer. And if I go to my storage account, I'll see over here that I have you know, five messages show up in this queue. So these are the four messages. And if I go back to my web job, uh, I'll go to the dashboard, which is going to show me if what the particular instance of this web job is doing. Okay. And if you notice that there's this only one function which is getting processed over here. Yeah, I just like need to slow queue. down. I'm trying to put it all together here. So you've got a You've got a queue, and messages are going into it being generated by your little console app. Exactly. So it's just throwing it's just throwing messages. messages, and it threw five messages in into well, four, the queue. I saw four. Yeah. So then go back to your your explorer, your storage explorer. Or your, there you go. So is it doing it all the time? Are there going to be more if you hit refresh? No. So they're just sitting there. They're just waiting. sitting there, in the in the queue. So my producer basically write, wrote five messages on the queue. And then I have a function in my web job, which is listening to any new uh, incoming messages on this on queue. On scale queue, yeah. got it. So it, it ran the first time. It picked up the first message. It triggered this function. And it's doing some processing over here in this function. Mm -hmm. And since it's a long running job, like it's CPU intensive, it cannot process the next message, because now it's blocked on, on processing the first message in the queue. Right. And in order to do four, you're going to need more. Exactly. So what I'm going to do basically is now I'm going to go back to my website, and I'm going to scale. So we all know that web jobs run in the context of website, and they scale in the context of website itself. Okay. So I have my website which is running in standard mode, and I can scale out. So I can say like go from instance one to instance three, which will have basically three instances of the web job running. I can also have it to be auto scale. Like if there's a high spike in my CPU load, then it can auto scale my website itself. Ah, that's important to remember. So because web jobs run in the context of a website, they're sharing that CPU. Yes. So if the website works hard or the web job works hard, it'll scale out. Exactly. If you have auto scale turned on. And I can have the same auto scale settings that I have for my websites and use it for my web job as well. Mm -hmm. So now that I've done the scaling of my website to three in instances, that means there are three instances of my web job running as well. So that means now I can process messages three times faster. How do I make sure that not all three of them got the message? Uh, so the way that that happens is basically is using the web jobs SDK. So it, it's going to listen on any incoming message on the queue, then it's going to trigger any one of the web jobs which is listening. I see. So web so, jobs is smart enough. Yes. To only give one message on the queue to one web job. To one web job, exactly. And then that starts processing, and then it's processing, and which one is, is free is going to get the next message mm -hmm. uh, in the pipeline. <coughs> and so if I go back now, so like. So where are you here? This is in the, uh, the Azure jobs. Um, this is the diagnostics portal for the, uh, for the web job. So if I go back to my web jobs tab, you know, it shows me all the web jobs that I have in my application. And if I click the logging link for this particular job. You scroll to the side there. Oh, there it is. There so it logs. Is. So if I click this log, 
it's going to show me all functions which have invoked for this particular web job itself. So in this case, it's going to show me this process queue function which has been invoked for the last like you know five uh, messages in the queue. Okay. So, so now I have basically three. Okay, so you scaled out. So program read from queue now has three blue running statuses. Exactly, because I scaled out to three instances. Then if I go back to my storage explorer and I say scale queue and I refresh, <coughs> so here all the messages have been processed. Ah, so they've all been processed. There's nothing in the queue because you're doing, you're hand right. handling them so well. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's because I've scaled out my particular uh, Azure website itself. Uh, <coughs> So this is how you know basics of scaling work itself. Uh, what I could also do is like in this case, you know, you asked a question like which one of the web jobs is going to pick up the message. Mm -hmm. So in this case, I'm scaling out. So I have three instances of my web job running. But let's say I only wanted to have a single instance of web job running in a, in my particular site. So I can define this custom behavior by dropping in this file called settingsjob.json. Mm -hmm. <coughs> And so okay. this. So what are we doing? So what we're doing over here is, <coughs> we're going to make sure that only a single instance of the web job runs. Okay. And the job file is a is a, is a JSON file with it's settings information. Exactly. So I can put this file called settings.job, and I can set is singleton colon true, which means that even if I have multiple instances of my website running, there'll be only a single instance of the web job that will run. Would it be on just one random? One random one random instance of your site, yes. So you have three of them. You don't know which one it is. Yes. But is singleton equals true? Is it just one of those three chosen at random will be the web job? Exactly. And, and wh then, why would I set one to be a singleton if I? So let's say you really you wanted to decouple yourself from how your site is scaling up. You don't care about scaling off your web job. You I only see. have one console. So EXE. for example, um, I wanted to clean up some logs in exactly. the database. Exactly, right. But if I wanted to, you know, take some images off of a queue and crush them, right. I'm going to need the CPU. I want to scale yes. out for that. Yes. But a simple morgue morgue thread. Like every Sunday, you want to like clean up your database. No need for. I don't care about jobs. scaling for that particular job. So you want to set that uh, instance to be like a single instance because you don't want that web job to scale. Mm -hmm. so and that that web jobs file that uh, needs to live where in the root. That web job files needs to live in the root of your web job. So wherever your like you know console exe is running, or wherever your Python script is running, or wherever your PowerShell script is running, it just needs to live in the root of your web job itself. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you put it over there, that it would mean that there's only a single instance of this web job that's going to run. How do I, uh, when I am processing this, indicate maybe that it it failed? Like what if an exception happens here? And I want to put that back on the queue. So. The great thing about using the web jobs SDK is, let's say you're doing processing over here and an exception happens, mm -hmm. and this function never completes. The SDK is going to put that message back in the queue, oh. so that next time you know some other function can pick it up and process it again. And if there are any exception messages that happen, they will get logged into the dashboard and sort of you can uh, see over here like if there was an exception like why did that exception happen and get a full st stack trace of the call stack in your application of why did that exception happen as well. So I really just write it like a regular console app. I test it like a regular console app. Exactly. So I the way that I communicate with it is you know let throw the exception. Throw the exception basically. Yeah. So if this function succeeds then it is assuming that I have if successfully processed that. Yes. And it's going to log a success in the dashboard saying that you've successfully processed this queue message. Do you like, have any failures at the bottom here? I don't have any failures. No, <coughs> just that. What, now, what does never finished mean? Never finished means that uh, the process took a long time to finish. And before it could complete the message, maybe the process got restarted. So it's never finished executing that particular message on the queue. I see. And in this case, never finished probably happened because you scaled it in the middle of it doing right. something. And that did cause a restart of the web job as I scaled out you know, to multiple instances and stuff. So <coughs> now I noticed that there was a thing on the uh, Visual Studio Gallery. There's uh, some initial web jobs tooling. Is that correct? Correct. So we have an initial uh, tooling. It's called Web Jobs VS. <coughs> it's a Visual Studio extension that you can download. And what it allows you to do, it allows you to associate a web job with your particular website itself. So slow down. 
So, so Web Jobs VS is up on the Visual Studio Gallery. Right. You can get that at Visual Studio Gallery. And this is a uh, like a lab. Just project. like in a lab. Yep. Just you're exploring what tooling might look like. So if you wouldn't mind scrolling down just a little bit, this is going to allow you to say add new Azure Web Job. Right. And if people like this, they're going to give you feedback and yes. The, and let us know, and then maybe we'll build it into the Azure SDK. Exactly, and there's a link to an issues page where you know some people have put issues as well, which we have fixed uh, over here. <coughs> mm -hmm. So this is similar to like Web Essentials. It's a it's a playground that we are learning about web jobs. Kind of, yeah. Like we want to get this feedback right from the from folks as well as to how would people like to associate web jobs? Would they associate you know like a web job with a website, and all web jobs live inside it? Or do they want to consider web jobs to be an independent unit, and they just want to push a web job and run some background processing like in Azure, like without cool. having any to do with website itself? So while we don't need that web jobs VS in order to do web jobs, as we right. saw in the initial web jobs videos, yes, uh, it can you make can, things a little bit easier. Exactly. Perfect. <clears throat> Very cool. We're scaling Azure web jobs here on Azure Friday. Thank mm -hmm. you.